All right, I'm about to plug in the Roku box for the first time. What I did realize is that there is no power button on the machine, so it's probably an always-on device. I hear it only pulls about 4 watts or 5 watts of power, so it's very, very uh, low-powered, so that shouldn't be an issue. But uh, I'm going to plug it in for the first time, and if I've set it up, if I've set everything up correctly, it should pop on the screen. So let's uh, keep our fingers crossed and hope everything works well. And here it goes. Seems to be okay. Now this setup process should take me through setting up my Wi-Fi because I don't do wired down here and uh, then browsing the menus. So let's see how this goes. All right, the first thing we see is a welcome screen. It says, Welcome to Roku Digital Video Player. Setup should take less than three minutes. During the process, you'll set up a connection between the player and your home network. Press OK on your remote to begin. And here is the remote, and we're going to press OK on it. Please select the type of network connection you're using. Select wired if your player is connected to your router using an Ethernet cable, which is not the case in this situation. Select wireless if you have a wireless access point, Wi-Fi, and want to use it. You'll need to know your network name, SSID, and security key if applicable. So we are going wireless. We're going to click down to wireless, and it's going to scan for that. Okay, I placed an edit in there because it showed my Wi-Fi information up there. But uh, it seems like it's uh, collecting the Wi-Fi signal pretty well. Uh, the only concern I did have is that it's in a uh, cabinet here, and they say not to put anything on top of the Roku device because it could interfere with the wireless signal. Uh, there's nothing on top of it, but it is under another shelf in there, so I was just hoping that didn't interfere with the Wi-Fi. So far, it looks good. Um, now, the next thing I need to do is enter in my security code, so I'm going to do that right now and I'll be back when I'm done. Okay, to give you an update, I signed into my wireless network and it did an update, a software update. It downloaded that and now it's restarting the Roku device. All right, it restarted and it's signed into my wireless. So the next screen we see is settings. Welcome to the Roku player. Setup should take less than five minutes uh, that seems a little bit two minutes more than the last one. Uh, you'll be prompted to link your player to your Roku account. Press OK on your remote to begin. Um, I don't have a Roku account, but we'll see how this goes. The next screen says, use the buttons below to set your time zone for the Roku home screen clock. You can modify your time zone settings or turn off the clock at any time in Roku settings. Well, it seems everything's correct here, so we're just going to go down to Done. Okay, the Roku player just directed me to go to roku.com slash link. And I had to go onto the website, and since I don't have or didn't have a Roku account at the time, I had to create one online. It took about, I don't know, less than a minute. And set that up, and immediately when that happened, the Roku player linked up with it. And now the screen you see here it says congratulations you have successfully linked your Roku player and is and it is now set up. To optimize for HD or widescreen TVs select set display type below. If you are ready to start using your player simply select start to begin. Well it seems like everything's alright but we're gonna go to the set to set display type anyway just to make sure. Um, we are HDTV 720p. Confirm change. Your display type will now be set to HDTV 720p. Select confirm below to apply the setting and restart your player. Otherwise select cancel to keep previous setting. We're going to go confirm and it's going to restart the player again. All right, there we go. This is what it looks like when it's all set up. 
and you have immediately you have settings to the way left you have channel store and you have three channels Netflix Amazon Video On Demand and Hulu Plus now with the purchase of this Roku device I believe I get a free month of Hulu Plus which uh, should be interesting I don't know uh, if Hulu is is if I'm a good fit for Hulu um, the same with Netflix but I know I like Amazon Video On Demand. It's a great way to rent movies a la carte. It's, there's no subscription. Uh, it's just like going to a, a video store and you know pulling a video out and saying, I want to rent this and watch this tonight. That's what I like about it. No commitment, no subscriptions or anything like that. But I will be trying Hulu Plus at some point. Um, I know they have a lot of good things in their back catalog there. And uh, Netflix, I don't know about right now, but uh, let's see what they have in the channel store. I know they have a whole bunch of channels for this device. And I'm sure there's something in there I'm interested in.